Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving you part 5 of What If Naruto Got All Krama Powers Before the Chunin Exams. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends in the social media platform. And go ahead and check out the brand new episode of What If Naruto's a Genius Experimenter over in Anime King 3. And enjoy that guys. And over in making two, I post a brand new episode of What If Naruto was recreated by the Shinigami. So go ahead and check that out and enjoy as well, guys. Yes, if you're new, I did have three channels: Anime King, Anime King Two, and Anime King Three, which I post What If on every single day. Yes, that's not mistaken. You heard that correctly. Every single day for you guys to enjoy. So go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the Anime King family. And thank you for all of your help and support. Remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replaying talking back to all of you. So yeah, without further ado, what do you say we jump right into this new episode start? The intro. So the last time we left off, a lot of people came to the hospital to see Naruto and the state that he was in. As Ino also came by as well. As she wanted to know what was his deal with soccer, as so both of them spoke. As Ino found herself getting, she didn't know what it was. But something about Naruto was just so different and it made her see him in a completely different light. So when time came for Naruto to leave the village, they were all there to wish him luck. And Ino did something that surprised them. She kissed Naruto right in the cheek. Now that was surprising to everyone there. Even Naruto was surprised as well. And with that they left and made their way. Naruto and Joya leaving. A few days pass. As Sasuke decided to leave the village. In order to get power which he was planning on in the first place. A retrieval team was sent after him. Both Naruto and Joya were currently on top of the Okage's head. That being the first Okage. As Naruto asked Joya what was a sage. As the man went on to explain to him nature engine, briefly, as Naruto asked Kurama about it, who went more in depth. Now that was, well, surprising. Hearing that the enemies were going to come here, as he had to pass through here to go towards the land of Rice field, Naruto and Jerry waited there. Kakashi and the others were called in for help, as they were currently at the hidden stone border, so they had to make their way around. The time came as his team caught up with them, as Naruto stopped them from leaving. His first target was Seikon and Ukon as he took them out. He then proceeded to take out Kitamar as well. He told Karen to give up as he could sense that her chakra was dense and most. She was a Uzumaki, but she was surprised. But Jurobo decided to attack Naruto, and Naruto showed him that he was not someone to be trifled with. As they started to fight until he appeared. His name was Sugetsu, as he was after the blade that Naruto had. They fought for it as Naruto showed him that. He was the one to wield this. It was at that very moment that the team arrived from Kanoha, as Ino was along with them. She wanted to help but Naruto told them that they would just get in the way right now. Sasuke emerged in the barrel as well. As Naruto started to undergo changes from the Kayube, as he told them that none of them would be leaving here. As Sugetsu saw the chakra on Naruto's blade, noticing that it was wind chakra this was bad. This was really really bad. As if that thing cut him up, he wouldn't make to realign himself that quickly. And the kid was fast, as Naruto knocked the both of them away like they were nothing. As the match was going on, Zabuza and Minato and Kushina were watching the whole thing. It was then that a chute came out, a surprising chute. It actually was Naruto's brother. No, that was shocking. Something happened in the past between the three of them. As they were close friends and, well, they slept together, all three of them once. And Mikato got pregnant but because she was supposed to be married off to the clan. This was something really bad that it would cause her to be exiled from her own clan. As she was supposed to be the bargaining chip between the clans. And to reunite these sections of different clan. Despite it being one big clan, they wanted Fukaku as the head of said clan. 
So with her relationship with Fugaku forcefully have to go and start, a few weeks afterwards, she had to hide the pregnancy. As she had to make it seem that Fugaku was the father, a seal was placed in Itachi when he was just a baby that changed his appearance completely, his eyes and hair as well. Zabuza was shocked, really really shocked, as he couldn't believe what he was hearing. As if he wasn't dead, he would have passed out in shock right now. But he couldn't believe it, Itachi Uchiha was the son of Minato no Mikaze. No wonder the brat was so skilled. No wonder he was something else beyond his peers. It kind of explained a lot now, but still that meant. Naruto had a bigger brother. But Itachi did not know about this, but there was someone else that knew. The doctor that was there. Snare Senju. So yeah guys, this basically as we left off, you guys can switch across the PlayStation for yourself and yeah. What do you say we just jump right into this new episode? Remember to go ahead and check out all of the other what ifs and yeah. Let's begin now guys. The members of the Retriever squad was shocked as they watched as Naruto make small work of the two people that he was fighting like they were nothing but academy students. How is he this strong? I mean, he defeated Neji, but still said Choji, unable to wrap his mind around it. As Neji stood there, this shocker is the same one that they used against Gara. But it is not a fire nature, Neji thought. Back to the fight. Sasuke, you are to return to Kanoha or be tried for treason. No, it's obvious that they're holding me back. Instead, they trained you. I've had enough with that worthless village. I'm going to kill you and gain the strength I need to kill Itachi. As Sasuke smirked, the curse mark had consumed him as he was in level 2 state. Actually, I'll start with them. Fire staff are about jutsu. The retrieval team was shocked as it came so fast. The massive ball of fire hurling towards them. A massive wall of water erupted in front of them though. Blocking the technique as steam filled the area. Swinging his blade with such force it released a gust that blew it away. As an angry pissed off Naruto stood there. With Jiraiya he was just about to move in to save the kids. But he had saw Naruto move. I think that seals the deal on this he thought to himself. Sasuke willingly went with them. Back with the retrieval team, as Naruto saw Karen moving towards the wire, she nodded yes. We will go with you, she said. Please, don't kill us. Naruto turned towards Neji. Neji, keep an eye on them, he said. The shorter one is in no condition to fight. The other one's a wild card, he said. Neji simply nodded as Naruto blur away. Sugetsu flashed in Naruto's path. As Naruto swings, Sugetsu tried to block but... Naruto sliced right through the clay more. Sugetsu watched his sword fell. Yusin, his opponent shot Naruto's feet, got pulsated with a cubic shocker as he slammed it forward. Sugetsu was thrown right to the end of the valley, smashing into the giant stone. Sasuke arrived in front of Naruto within seconds, his right hand blazing with black lightning it seems, as it was tainted by the curse mark as he thrust it forward. But he was surprised that Naruto grabbed his wrist. Sasuke's eyes went wide as Naruto slammed a fist into his stomach, causing Sasuke to keel over as Naruto then swing him and threw him in the same direction where he threw Sugetsu as Naruto slammed the sword in the ground. This battle was starting to get to him for attacking a superior officer with the intent to kill. You will die today as he ripped the blade back out of the ground. As Wind Chakra started to blaze around it before, he went through one handed seal to the other hand. Fire transfer, he says, he blew flames out of his mouth. As the fire erupted in a rage and blue inferno, he then held the blade to the sky. Nimpo, inferno wave as he swung it downwards. The arc of blue flames exploded outwards. It swept through the landscape. Neither a time to dodge, Sasuke covered himself with his wings. As Sugetsu covered himself with a massive ball of water, hoping that this would be enough to protect him. With the retrieval team, Unbelievable. That was all Ino could see. They were so far and yet, she could feel the tingling on her skin. It was intensely hot. Such power, stated Neji. But what is that red chakra? It's a completely other source, Neji thought. It's just like the sign that Gara used. Everyone, get ready to secure what is left of Sasuke. Shikamaru said, surprise number one. See me a shocking container. Our mission is to retrieve Sasuke no matter if they are alive or dead. If more people show up, me and Naruto hold him off, while you bring Sasuke back to the village. At the Hokage's tower, Hiruzen was worried. 
Last night Sasuke had left the village. It is no fool. He reason knew that he left willingly, but with the council behind him, he needed information. He needed evidence. Sir Toby heard a faint cracking sound as he wondered what the hell was that. When he turned towards a photo of Minato on the wall, what the hell? The picture had a crack going through it. A worried thought came in the old man's mind. As he wasn't one that believed in Omen but this. Anvu, with a short amount of team that he had, as Cat and a few others came in the room. I want this one team to go to the border and help with the securing of Sasuke Uchiha. With you leading Cat. On their Sama. Team R, move out. But Hirzen was also worried about Naruto as well. As he would have to call Tenzo in to make sure that Naruto was okay. Meanwhile, in the wave, for the second time in the last few months, a beautiful red-headed woman stepped off the dock and arrived. Hmm, I haven't been gone more than a couple of months, and this place looked even better than when I was last here. She stated with a smile. It is thanks to our hero we can strive again. One of the dot workers, a young man, seemed to be 16, said, I'm guessing you mean Naruto. The man was surprised. As another one spoke, Yes ma'am, he did save this country after all. As he came over, My name is Tazuna, expert bridge builder of a land of wave. How may I help you, he said. My name is Meitarume, elite Jonin of Kiri. I was just passing through on my way to Kanoha. Elite Jonin, huh? Last one we had here was a Scarecrow. You don't look very Jonin-like, said Tazuna. Before me could say something or get mad, someone spoke, Scarecrow. Are you my speaking of Kekashi Atake? Eo asked. Eo was a former hunter Nin, and he also had a Byakun under that patch of his. Yes, he was here with Naruto and the others. If you're going to look for the brat, tell him that Inere wants him to visit soon. Back to the fight, when the fire cleared, Sasuke wings were charred beyond recognition. As he was on the ground, as Sasuke body started to revert back to normal, as Sasuke body was burned, and he was unconscious. Sigetsu on the other hand, as Naruto did not really see him, as Naruto glanced around, Shikamaru, go and get him and leave now he's commanded. You heard him, Kiba, Neji, you are the fastest. Clear our route back, Choji, bind him and pick him up. Me and Ino will cover you. As Naruto made sure that no one would interfere. As Jiraiya landed right beside Naruto. Hurry up and go kids. Now now Jiraiya. We need some witnesses. As Naruto had sensed it. Given why he was looking off in the distance. After all. Everyone would like to hear how. The Baka had lost to the greatest Sanin. Across the valley stood two men. One that they recognized on tuning exams, Kabuto. The other man had black hair. None other than Orochimaru. Things might have not worked out with the invasion, but I will not allow you brats to take what is mine. Go now, Naruto shouted towards the team. They have no choice. Orochimaru flashed you hand sign, Earth style. Arena trap! As a massive wall erupted, the only way was going over or passing through the sneak sounding. Orochimaru turned his gaze. Karen, Karen, Karen. It seems you have betrayed me, he said. Don't worry. I'll be sure that you see the experiment table soon enough. Just like what I did with your mother. Everyone stay put. Form her own Sasuke. We can't let him get away, said Shikamaru. As he tried to figure out a plan, Karen who was still holding on to your wife started to shake. Jiraiya Sensei said Naruto as he was serious. When he was not, he called him Purvis H. Should we bring her some help? I like your style, kid, said Jiraiya. As all of them went through hand sign at once. Summoning Jutsu! Kabuto used in the help of Urchmar to summon a snake as well. As four massive creatures now filled the area after the smoke clear, Gamakin was already holding on to his club. I see why you have summoned me, Gamakin. I'll do my best, but I'm quite lazy. Come on, Ken, stop saying that. You're more graceful than Gambunta. Hey, I heard that! The voice of Gambunta said, looking over to the next side, Aruchimaru was standing on top of Manda. The retrieval team was in shock. To think that anyone would stand up to Urchimaru Sama, Karen said in shock. Well, Nurutakan was always the most stubborn out of all of us. So we shouldn't be too surprised, Ino said. Back to the fight, even now, Brett, you mocked me with your petty existence. Just like your mother and father, Urchimaru shouted. 
as Gamikin spoke. Do not insult their graceful names and sully them with your foul tongue. They were both heads and shoulders above you. Foolish toad. You're not even the boss of your clan and yet you speak to my summoner in such way. You will die here today along with that brat on your back. The brownish blackish snake beside Manda said, I've had enough of this for one day. Ken, shock and awe, said Naruto, as he created a clone beside himself. Got it. Lightning style. Toad bolt jutsu. Wind style. Great wind breakthrough. Water style. Colliding water wave. Toad. Collaboration style. Toad god thunderstorm. Naruto and Gamakin shouted at once. The attacks combined into a massive beam of pure raw electricity. Surrounded by the water that was surged with lightning and shot towards the two massive overgrown snake, Manda slipped away but the smaller snake was slammed. The attack overwhelmed it as it was dispersed back to the summoning realm, forcing Kabuto to leap. Orochimaru clenched his fists. This child was growing more and more. He couldn't allow him to survive. Manda, take all the toads. With pleasure, said Manda. As much as he did not like everyone, he hated the toads as well. With a passion. Ken, I'm going to take down Kabuto to help. Bunta defeat the snake, said Naruto. He used Gamakin head and jumped off. Naruto no, Ino shouted out. As he dive bomb over the canyon. Ino, he's going to be alright. His trajectory. We'll have him landing on the other side. With plenty of room to spare. Stated Shikamaru. It's like he has no fear of death. He thought to himself, seeing Naruto leaped off. With Jiraiya and Orochimaru. That brat is quite impressive. Even with him constantly forwarding my plans. Perhaps I shall use him as my next vessel, Orochimaru said. As much as I would say that would happen over my dead body. But even at death, I wouldn't allow something like that to happen. As Orochimaru simply chuckled, You amuse me. You don't understand. Even if you try, you will never succeed. You don't have the willpower. You could have all the willpower in the world, it will never break Naruto Uzumaki. Will can always be broken. Not his, said Jiraiya. And I can put my life on that. Well, it doesn't matter. Kabuto will kill him. And I can finally end you. We'll just see about that. Said Jiraiya as he dropped into a stance. Meanwhile, Kabuto had to give Naruto credit. It took balls to use a toad as a springboard and leaped off the canyon. As Naruto was coming down towards him, he was holding the sword in the arc so he was spinning like a gig of death. Kabuto jumped away as the attack slammed in the ground. Kabuto was confused when he saw the blade of Sabuza coming towards him. That is when he noticed exactly what Naruto did. It wasn't the blade that slammed in the ground, it was Naruto's fist. As he threw the blade at the last second, he slammed his fist in the ground making him think that the blade had made contact for him to drop his guard for a few seconds. He could not move fast enough. The blade tore through his side, giving his size. As his side was ripped out, I need to heal. He then heard something. Wait, what? Everyone froze as a blood curdling scream broke the ear. As the blade returned back near the hand, there was a purple chain attached to it. That pulled the hilt right back in Naruto's hand. The blade was coated in blood. As Naruto caught the blade, what the hell? He didn't expect that to really work. But it did. And the timing couldn't be more convenient. What the hell? Urchimar said. That's the Uzumaki chains. What next? Does that little shit know the Harishin as well? No, said Jiraiya. Well, who knows he said the smirk. As he enjoyed making Urchimar sweat. As Manda got hit by Gamakin. Forcing him to slither back. But Gamabunta buried his sword in Manda's tail. Causing the snake to screech. Gamakin then proceeded to slam the club down hard. As Manda head was slammed into the earth, Urchimaru had to jump away as Manda was sent back to something wrong. Manda was powerful and strong but against these two powerful summons, he stood no chance. Good work King. let's have a drink to Gambunta. As Urchimaru jumped off Gambunta's head, the two toads poofing away. Back with Kabuto, as he was hunched over, the gaping wool he was trying to heal it as he swallowed a pill. I know you can heal yourself but can you heal from wind chocker cuts? Probably. After all, you are Urchimaru's bitch. I know that this is all just a diversion. You have a secret weapon over there hiding in the trees. Kabuto narrowed his gaze. 
and it doesn't matter if they come out. Hidden Miss Jutsu said Naruto. Kabuto curse. How can this mist be so damn thick? It's like it's physically holding me back. As he tried to gain his bearings, I can't see. Neither can I hear anything. Out of darkness, out of night. The demon has returned to fight. And with that fight, you will never, ever see the light. Where is he? I can't even smell him. One, two. Your senses will betray you. The killer intent was getting unreal. Three, four. Here I come for some more. Kabuto start to heal himself faster. Five, six. Your limbs cannot be fixed. Slash. Kabuto winks as his back was slashed badly. Slash. His two arms were slashed. He was forced to step back. Seven, eight. You will die a traitor's fate. Kimimaru Kabuta cried out. Nine, ten. This is your end. As Naruto brought the blade down towards his head. But it was stopped by. Was that bones? Naruto jumped away. Well at least his body is now in the open. Wait. Is that? Shit. The mist started to move away from the two white gear men. Due to the influx of chakra from the newcomer. As it would be useless to keep it going. Naruto got the chakra. How much? Of you cursed bastards are there, said Naruto. Kid, you're running out your own chakra. Start using mine and end this now, said Karama. How much, said Naruto. 20% and end this. How can you be this pathetic? Why Urchimaru Sama think of you as the best soldier? I cannot understand. Kimaru was clearly disappointed Kabuto. His skills are far from what my data shows. He is growing stronger at an unheard of rate, Kabuta said, as he felt quite disappointed himself as well, to be crying out to Kimar for help. He should be dominating his fight and here he was, on losing end, something that really angered him a lot. He killed off the Sun 4, killed Sugetsu and defeated Sasuke who had just activated the second curse, Mark. His sword skills are so vast and unpredictable, I will decide that for myself. Kimmar wastes no time as he enters second level of his curse mark. You also have that damn curse mark. But you're a lot stronger than the other five, said Naruto. That means I can't afford to take this easy. Red Chakra exploded out of him. As he started to whip off his frame, Kimimar pulled out two long bones from each of his shoulder as he settled into a stance. Naruto took in a breath. As he sent the chakra down towards his legs, he then disappeared. It was just fast, but it seems like he disappeared. Kimimar felt something tore into his back viciously. So fast. And he cut me. How? As he felt his bone being sliced. That shouldn't be physically possible. When he was in this state, he should be unbreakable, not by some easy sword. He then felt his bicep being slashed. Kabuto was speechless. He's hurting Kimimaru. But that's impossible. No blade should be to just slice his skin. How powerful is the power of the fox? As Kabuto started to heal himself even more, he wasn't even fully healed yet and he was getting low on chakra. The wound to his side had been rather severe. If it was a normal person, it would have been dead in seconds, but he was different. Given the pill that boosts his chakra and yet he was still run out. Meanwhile, Naruto was surprised. The amount of strength that he used behind his blade. The guy should be down already, but yet he was still on his feet. He increased his speed, but Kimaru blocked his attack. Damn it. He flipped back several times as Kimaru lashed out a bone sword from his palm. As Kabuto got up and nearly slashed his throat open, but Naruto had to duck and flipped away. Kimaru appeared as Naruto used the flat of his blade to block the bone. Kabuto came in, so Naruto dropped the weight off the sword, allowing Kimaru to come down, thinking that he would pierce him. But the last moment, Naruto rolled and kicked Kabuto right in the side, right where he just finished heal, knocking him away. He then used the momentum to bring his sword around to slash Kimaru in half. But he felt raw negative emotions behind him. He stabbed the blade into the earth instead as he used his hand to push himself upwards, dodging a slash from Kabuto and dodging the bone strike from Kimimaru. Now coming down, Naruto used wing to propel his feet and slam his foot in Kimaru's back. The bones jogged down from his back, sliced Naruto's leg, but still he pushed, knocking him right in Kabuto. Knocked the two of them away as he dropped on his injured leg. He looked down as he sent the chakra down there. As he started to heal, I see the pest is back. You're just like I thought, Kabuto, a parasite that hide behind his strong allies. 
and it only comes out when there is no danger. As he put on the confident face but he knew that those two were going to be hard to take down. Kabuto was able to heal himself and others and the bone user is too fast not to mention his body was so tough. He had to use this already as he created 10 clones. Each in chakra cloak each of them had a blade of their own and they looked pissed. I was going to offer surrender to you too but I guess that is out of the question is it? As Nuka sent the clones forward, both of them are forced to dodge and block their techniques. The clones around Kimmar then suddenly poofed away, filling his vision with smoke. As Nuka bursts out of said smoke, Rasengan! At the moment, the fight between Jiren and Orochimaru was not being taken seriously, as the both of them would not use their trump card first, knowing that they would need, well, the power to leave if anything. Orochimaru to be leaving and Jiren to be saving Naruto just in case. Orochimaru could not bring out his sword as he knew that Jiren would take it away. Just the last time they fought using his sealing technique, and he did not prepare the Dodensei. It seemed to her once again to impasse, wouldn't you say Orochimaru? Orochimaru snarls he looked towards his two best men just to see Naruto use his 10 clones. To be able to send Chakra to the 10 clones. Just so you know he's gonna kill the bone user, and your medic as well. Kimimaru is already dying, and there's no way to prevent that. I've already set up multiple ways for his bloodline to move on. And Kabuto would not fall to his mindless tactics. Mindless tactics you say? Poof! All the clones poofed away. Rasengan! The purple ball of chakra. A cut above the rest it was massive. The amount of chakra that Naruto pumped into it. As he proceeded to grind it inside Kimimaru's chest. Kimimaru screamed as Naruto tore through flesh and bones. As Naruto pushed deeper until the man was blasted away. He end up in a trench, his body limp. As Naruto stepped forward, I will kill you the last thing I do for defying my lord Urchimaru. Dead bone forest. As Naruto had to jump away, the moment he landed he took off as bones erupted from the ground. He felt the ground underneath him shake as he brought down the blade and slammed it into the head of the bone, cracking right into it but yet it did not fall apart. So he stood on top of the blade and pulled it out and leaped off. As he dropped and pushed himself. As he pushed the chakra down to his feet. To his shock he was a far distance away. In just a mere couple of seconds. To think. He was that strong. To meet this with his dying breath said Naruto. Kid he's coming and fast. His power is still climbing said Grandma. Use the burp. We need a better name for it said Naruto as a bone exploded in front of him. As Kimimar came out, as Naruto then released all the chakra that he gathered up in his throat, as Naruto released all of the power, it was like a bastardized version of the Biju Bomb because there was no ball, just pure raw, uncontained chakra that annihilated Kimaru and a good section of the forest. It was eviscerated within seconds. Kabuto had ran out of the way as he was on the other side of the canyon. With the retrieval team, impossible. That amount of power should be impossible. Stated Shino is bugs, terrified at the power that was currently in the air. Shikamaru's mind was blank, not expecting. For Naruto to do something like that, Neji and Choji were no different. Ino and Karin were scared on the other hand. As they didn't understand how could someone have that much power. And Naruto was the same age as them. As Naruto's eyes focused on Kabuto, he moved, appearing in front of the medic and brought the blade down. Clash! The blade clashed with the Kusanagi of Orochimaru who stood in front of Kabuto. Orochimaru had a corner at his throat though from Jiren. At that very moment Sasuke had woken up. Sasuke was shocked. He had woken up a few seconds earlier to see everything. And he couldn't believe it what was the point of him going with Orochimaru. If the dope was able to block Orochimaru like that and push him back. What did it make sense if the dope was this strong and he was in Kanoha? Itachi grew stronger by staying in Kanoha to kill the clan. Orochimaru that weak, pathetic Sanin. He's allowing the dope to overpower him. What was the point of me going to him? Sasuke clenched his fist in rage, his mind filled with a lot of conflicts and thoughts right now. But he felt so tired. Shit. Shino used his bugs to drain his chakra. It's over Urchimaru, you move, or Kabuto move, and I'll kill you, said Jiraiya. It was then that Naruto felt a kunai at his own throat. What the hell? I'm afraid that you must release Urchimaru, Jiraiya. 
My organization is still in need of him. Itachi? Jerry stated, as he locked eyes with the young man holding his student hostage. Ironic. Naruto's being held at knife point by his older brother. Yes, Jiraiya knew. Wait, it's here. It isn't as dark as it used to be. Did he broke the seal? Naruto, slowly lower your sword and back away. Itachi, if you can allow Naruto to back away, we can get somewhere, but not until he does. As Naruto stepped back, something was going on here. Akasuke would not risk a Jinjoke to someone who betrayed them. And why is Jiraiya being so trusting? Something is right. Funny, said Naruto. You were ordered to protect me as crew, but now you hold me at knife point as Itachi. Itachi froze at that. He wasn't expecting that. But his face remained completely neutral. I wasn't ordered to protect you as a child. I did that because I'm your older brother. And even if I have to hurt innocent people to do so, I will protect you. As Naruto stood there, Sasuke saw Itachi arrive and get behind Naruto so quickly. Just how strong is Itachi right now? As he couldn't hear what they were talking about and why Naruto was backing up like that. Now that that is resolved, I will be taking these two and escorting them a safe distance away. Until next time, Kanuha Ninjas. Time skip. So he just left, Sarutobi said. As he looked over the report, the only ones that were left in the office was Shikamaru, Shino, Naruto and Jiraiya. Sasuke was in a hospital prison. As he was being watched by the Anvu, Karin was there as well. And the unconscious stay away. Yes, but it would make sense. Two traitors looking after each other. Yes, that would make an amount of sense, stated Sarutobi. Shikamaru Shino, you both did an effective job leading, maximizing your strength even though you had to do a job without fighting. Well done, both of you. You're dismissed, he said. As the both of them nodded, Naruto, what do you believe shall be done with Sasuke? As his ex-teammate having the most experience with him, I would like to know what you think. Usually, Naruto would have shouted out that he should be punished. Harshly. But the thing that made him stop was seeing Itachi there. You remember a long time ago when you he heard that Sasuke was put through severe mental issues by his brother when he was leaving the village. But he also remember Sasuke trying to kill his teammates and comrades. But he also realized that Sasuke had the curse mark on the entire time that might have been messing with his psyche. As he was quiet for a long while, Sarutobi was glad that Naruto was actually thinking it over instead of rushing into this. His throat was a bit hoarse even after using the technique again. As there was a lot of power to contain it. I think death and life imprisonment are too extreme. We have no proof that he left of his own accord. And the only time that he actually talked, he was currently in the process of changing with the curse mark. I believe three years probation. No promotion and unvu monitoring. At least for the first six months. Also, someone more experienced than Hatake shut that mark off permanently. I'll do it. The less of a connection Urchimar had with the kid is more better, said Jaren. Good. Naruto, I would send you to the hospital, but since you will make it too difficult, go home. You will need to report here in two day time to assist in a confidential activity. As Harrison nodded towards him, Naruto nodded back as he went through the window. You know there's a door right there, right? But he was already gone. What can I say, said Jaren. I taught the kid. He then got serious. Itachi. India Kasuki has been assigned to capture Naruto. His partner Kisame as well. Good. Then Naruto should be safer now. He's very much like his father, isn't he? Always grown at a remarkable rate. He just might take this hat by the time you two get back. Meanwhile. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Damn his father. Damn his mother. Damn his brother. And damn his entire bloodline! Shouted Urchimaru. Despite knowing when his master was like this, he should back away. Kabuta had to say something. But he doesn't have a brother. No one even knows who his parents are. Orochimaru turned his gaze towards him, of course. We know who his parents are. The brat. Can use cushion and chakra chains and he look exactly like his father. That bastard fort who took title away from me. And don't get me started on that other half-blooded Uchiha brat from the fort. I wish I could kill them all. Half-blooded Uchiha? But there's only two Uchiha in the world. 
And their father is Fukaku Uchiha. No. Itachi is the bastardized child of Minato and Mikato together. Him including Tushina Uzumaki they both had a three way. No one is supposed to get pregnant but she did. They hid it from the Uchiha clan so the elders would not exile her and remove the baby as well. As he held up a book, Jurei used it as writing material in volume 3 of his book. So Itachi's fourth firstborn son. But then how? Because as far as I know, Itachi and Saratobi do not know. Danso doesn't know either. The only ones that know are myself. Jiraiya, me Kakashi, and the medic that was there as well, and I think a former student of Minato as well, but she's dead. So not even the third no, Kabuta said. I'm sure that he has his speculations. Minato was the most single, talented ninja to ever walk this earth. At the young age of 18, he became Kage. He was unstoppable on both the battlefield and intellect. The fact that Naruto and Itachi made the Jonin by the time they were 13 didn't seem to be just surprising luck. Itachi is bad enough. I don't need one who is just as strong. He needs to die. Add them to the bingo book. Uzumaki and who? Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha. If we reveal who he is right now, we will find ourselves on the wrong side of the hidden stone. Knowing that decrepit old man, he will be sniffing around Uzumaki. He is now a low rank, A rank threat. And he is to be killed on sight. And the order for Sasuke is to be captured alive. Time skip. Naruto walked into his parents house. Happy that day was over. As he went to the refrigerator. And everything was brand new. I took the liberty of restocking it. Naruto jumped towards the light switch. As he flipped it on. Sitting on the couch was none other than What are you doing here? Itachi Uchiha said Naruto Time skip At the hospital Where Where am I? What's going on? It seems that she's awake That doesn't sound like Lord Orochimaru or Kabuto Thought to away She tried to open her eyes but she was blindfolded Alert Lord Hokage and the Uzumaki, the test came back. She's a 75% match. Back at Naruto's house. I understand if you don't believe me. I didn't believe it when my mother told me either. Itachi said as he sat at the table. It's a lot to take in. It's like everything I know isn't true. All this time, said Naruto. As he absorbed the new information. I'm sorry to be the one to have told you. That you couldn't find out on your own, Itachi stated. But you now know, Paki, is better than ramen. It still sounds wrong, said Naruto. Paki is just as good. I find it astounding that you accept our blood relations so easily and yet, your views on food is such astounding, Itachi said. Well, there's a pair of scrolls in the basement. Both of them mention you. I knew that something was up, but I never knew that this was the case. And especially since you end the fight at Valley of the End. You had a thoughtful look on your face. Were you thinking what you just mentioned to me? Your skills of observation is good, Itachi said. So what will you do now? There's an S-Class mission ninja in your home. Well, it is my home. And you are my brother. I think I never saw you, he said. A small smile came on Itachi's lips. Thank you, he said. But next time we meet, we will fight. Kisame, nor our leader know that we have blood ties. And it must stay that way. I understand, said Naruto. You may want to get going. There's an undo at my door. But we need to talk again. As Itachi nodded as he leaped through the window. Gone in the night. As there was a knock. Come in. As Naruto walked towards the door. He might look calm but yet. It was still surprising. Ah Tenzo. Time skip at the hospital. Tenzo and Naruto appear. As they greeted. Hiruzen. The young lady that you believe is at Uzumaki has awakened. But she refused to speak to anyone, just to use profanities around them all. What of the other one, the sensor Naruto asks? She's with Ibiki and Inuichi. She hasn't given them any problems yet. The foul mode one has a locked seal on her memories. She has to willingly tell us what she knows. Because if you were to force to break that seal, it wouldn't be good. I'll go get the other one, said Jiraiya. I guess that's why I'm here then, said Naruto. 
I was the one that, well, beat them. She might open up to me. That's just part of it, kid. The rest of it will be to tell you that we will stay in the village. Till the week, we are key witnesses in a trial of the Uche defection. There's a trial? I thought that usually he would be sent to jail. Usually, that would happen, stated Sir Toby. However, due to the fact that he's a clan heir, and the curse mark calls in mental damage, and because everyone reported that he fought with you. We must allow the Shinobi Council to decide. I still stay to hell with the trial. At the very least, he will get attacking a superior officer, stated Jiraiya. Be that as it may, it's required once a clan heir. Now Naruto hears and said. Meanwhile, Land of Sound. The body that he was in was old and used. But what was mostly on his mind right now was that Minato's brat had gathered such strength in such a short amount of time. In just a couple of months, he was made Joni level already. And not to mention with him using Kyubi's chakra. As Urchimar clenched his fists, Jerry loved to take his students on training trip, just like what he did for the fort. That will be the perfect opportunity to strike. But they had no Kimimaru or sound for. Perhaps this time they start to make a new one, he thought to himself. Kabuta, he called out. Back at Kanoa Hospital. Is this a bad time, said Naruto as he walked in. Tay was about to shout at who entered her room. That is what she's been doing since she arrived here. Well, since she woke up. But she then froze. She started to scream a second later for help. She was afraid, deadly afraid of this guy. She saw how he massacred the others. She was afraid of him. As Harrison stepped in the room along with Tenzo and two doctors. Karen was with them as well. She reacted like that because she saw me. Is she real that afraid of me? Keep him away from me. Get him away before he kills me, she said. Karen, you have to run. One of the doctors came over as he injected her with something. Calm down, miss. I've temporarily paralyzed your vocal cords. You can talk, but you cannot scream. Now what is the problem? She found out that she couldn't scream for real. But the fear in her eyes was still there. He... He kill off my team and my superiors. He's gonna do the same to me. As Naruto tilted his head. Do you know why I didn't kill you? He asked. As he continued. I believe that your part was Maki. Along with Karen here. Which makes you two family. I kept you all at Elbor clan. Thrive once again. So you want to use me as breeding stock? She said. As there was more fear in her eyes. Huh? No way I'm sharing you with anyone else. Dated Karen. No, I mean. No way am I being shared like that. Or being used like that. What the hell are you two talking about, said Naruto. As he realized, what? No. No, I didn't even thought of that. You two are both free to date and whoever you want to love. I just want to give you a chance to have a family here in Kanoha. Tewa saw the look on his face. He was obviously not liking that thought one bit. She turned towards Harrison though. He's speaking a truth. Within Kanoha and some of the other villages. When there's a last member or few members left of one clan, there's an act known as the Clan Restoration Act. It allows members of a dying clan to take on more than one, from inside or outside the village to join their clan. So I give up Orchimaru and you accept me into your clan. Axe stay where? Same with me, Karen Axe. Mostly, you will pledge your allegiance to Kanoha, or if you would, the Uzumaki clan, and you will be placed on probation, Harrison said. Someone then step in the room, an envelope. Okage-sama, done to report that the proposal that you made was accepted. That voice said Naruto under his breath as he heard that Anvo voice. It sound no one has heard him except for Karen. Thank you. Report to Danzo that I will be there momentarily. Naruto, I must go. You are to get young Tiawai an answer and do what is necessary. Tenzo, if you would. Sir Tobi and Tenzo left the room, the doctor. Seeing the situation under control left the room as well. Say why I looked at Naruto as she didn't trust him that 100%. But Karen, Karen was a sensor, and she could tell when people were out to gut them. And the way she was close to him, meaning that he was not a threat. And she seemed rather calm. Not to mention, if they were to go back to Orchimar now, he would rip their heads off. No, he wouldn't. He would put them through a painful, gruesome experiment. I accept. What? I accept your proposal. I know you are strong and you seem moral, plus, if I go back, I'll just be killed anyway. Alice, I knew I won't be killed here, she said, looking towards Karen. Naruto turned towards her. As he then turned towards Karen, 
She was so close to him that her face were inches away. As her cheeks turned red as she stepped back, she blushed a bit. This decision, it's not hard to pick, she said, considering where we came from. I assume that this offer comes to a client home as well. Okay, great, said Naruto. Well, that worked out well. The next day, Jerry looked at Harrison. You, you can't be serious. You want him to stay in the village. You want him to be part of a program that has been discontinued. Since the end of the third war, said Jaria, we had a deal that I would take him on a training trip with me. I understand why you're surprised, Jaria. But the board has been changed. New information has come out. It's not just the Akaski that is after Naruto. And with the San, and a relationship straining between us. Orochimaru interfering and targeting Naruto. And with the attack on her own soil, I can't allow you to go. Jiria thought about it for minutes, as he tried to understand. Tried to think of what it would be if Naruto went with him instead. But he saw many problems there. Let's just say I agree with this. What exactly will he be doing? Time skip in Kumo. A muscular man sat behind his decks. This was none other than A. As he was the right Kage of the village. As he looked towards the latest bingo book entry, he was informed that there was something you might want to see. Page 36. Name Naruto Uzumaki. Affiliation Kanoha. Rank Special Jonin Jinjulke. Classification A. Wanted for 5 deaths of some Jonins and the capture of another Jonin and a Jenin. Intervening in several sound operations when sighted do not engage unless with several other Jonins, has experience fighting in a group against stronger foes, skills, speed and strength, high Jonin, outstanding win affinity, immaculate Kinjutsu, current holder and wielder of the head cleaving blade, Ninjutsu, mid Jonin, Genjutsu, low Jonin, Taijutsu, low Jonin, Bayo, taught by Kakashi Atake and Jeref Desanin, known as the savior of wave, Apparently defeated Mamaka Izabuza and gained his blade. One is shown in exams as a rookie. Defeated the Ichibai Jinjulke by himself. Note has fought Urchmar twice and survived both times. A looked at the book as he looked towards the men. Is this information accurate? He asks. I've run it by the foreign. Intel division. They say that the intel is accurate, but they have no intel on his skills. As A thought about it. Understandable. Search for any information you have on this ninja and bring him to me. But guys, be and subscribe right here. If you want the next person to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that bell notifications they posted, and remember share to all of your friends, guys. And yeah, remember to also go ahead and check out the brand new episode of What If Naruto was a genius experimenter over in Anime Making 3. And also over in Making 2, I post a brand new episode of What If Naruto was remade by the Shinigami, so go ahead and check out that guys, and yeah, without further ado, I'm out for now, see you guys soon, peace guys.